three foolproof ways to improving your style in your day-to-day -day writing. Heck yes, pound it. Bruh. The artwork around here is sick. Guys, thank you so much. I'm just gonna open up with this real fast. Thank you so much for all the comments on the last video that you guys, that comments that I put out. Thank you so <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the comments you put on my recent video that was posted on Saturday. I'll put it up in the cards, but you don't really have to watch that right now. You can save that for later. Today, I'm gonna show you three foolproof ways to increase your style on your scooter without failure, okay? Number one. Dress sense. Dress sense is very important. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna go into the cliches, the stereotypes, the Dickies pants, none of that, okay? That's not the style that I'm talking about. I'm just talking about dress sense in general. It doesn't matter what brands you wear, you know, how expensive they were, whether you got them at an op shop, whether you got them at a sports shop, whether you got them at Farmers, Kmart, Walmart, it doesn't matter. But the dress sense overall, that's what we're talking about. She life is like a circle. There is no end, cause it's a circle. It goes around and around like a circle. Triangle has like a corner. No corners. It's a circle. Like a circle. Okay, we get it. Pick some shoes, okay? For the hard part, it's not gonna be that hard today because we're wearing red, so we can only really choose between a couple of different pairs. Red Adidas, and there's a pair of red Adidas down there too, but I don't wear those. These are a little bit more worn out. You can see the soles are a little bit. <laughs> I don't like undoing my laces. I like just set and forget type of thing. Really used to wearing the uh, Nike slip-ons you see over there. Those are like, yeah, you see what I mean? Karen's got them too. I think you got me into those shoes. Maybe. Josh had them, and then me and Corey went to America, and I got like three pairs. <laughs> <laughs> These ones, man, they keep tearing, like right on the seam there where you shove your ankle in. So they're ripped on both sides, both shoes. This one too, that one's really fucking bad. The amount of Nike gear in my wardrobe is insane. I'm even wearing Nike socks, man. Come on, bro, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. So whoosh everywhere. That's how I live my life. Just do it! Grab the whip, load up the car, head to a skatey that you've never seen before, by the way. Maybe. Unless you know, but you probably don't know. Let's go. Buy well, bigger car, kids, honestly. This whole scooter in pieces shit. <laughs> Not a fun time. Don't forget the all important fanny pack. Okay, so while we wait for the park to dry, second pro tip, stance. Your stance is key to how you ride your scooter. I see way too many kids riding their scooter like this. This, big no-no. Don't do it. Bad habit, you don't want to start there, you don't want to finish there, you don't want to be anywhere near that. Stop it. Like this? No. Don't ride like this. You are either goofy or regular. Ski is not an option. Goofy, regular, pick one. This is how you do it. Try it with a friend, get them to push you, and then you can kind of do it a couple of times and just see which foot you put down first. Me and Kieran will do that now. Grab them on the shoulders and push them forward to the ground. Don't do it too hard. 
<laughs> left foot again. So you guys know what I'm talking about? Me and Kieran are both regular riders. We both ride left foot forward. No ski riding. This ain't snow planet. This ain't Mount Hut. You're riding a scooter, not a set of skis. So stop it. I know it was accidental, but look. <laughs> it sounds so good. tip with the three S's, right? Sense, stance, stability. Stability is super important when it comes to style on your scooter. You need to look confident on your scooter. You need to look like you know what the hell you're doing. The best way I can explain this right is pick your stance. Once you've got your stance, so I'm regular, right? I'm gonna stand on my scooter regular and legit, you got a garage, you got a carport, you got somewhere undercover just to practice for a couple hours, listen to some music and literally start rolling around like this. And just don't put your feet down. You need to start like carving, you know, just rolling around like this and just get a sense of stability on your scooter, you know? If you can do 180s, you know, and practice those. Just kind of roll around like this. Get that muscle memory built up as best you possibly can, you know? A couple of these. A couple of, you know, whatever else. I don't know. But just work on the stability, work on your balance on your setup. You just want to be rolling around, not putting your feet down. If you look like you know what you're doing, well, you probably do, to a certain extent. to the easiest things just like that it looks stupid it looks like you're doing nothing achieving nothing but let me tell you when you can build that skill into your day-to-day -day riding your fakie rollbacks your tie tab spins on you built that stability you know that when you land oh I've kind of landed a little bit off let me just carve my wheel into the right spot you know what I'm saying if you land a little bit janky with this skill you can learn how to carve your bars or your wheels into the right position so let me give you an example right if you land a little janky that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to hop to if I land a little bit janky like this. If you need to correct yourself, so be it. Go for it. But if you're getting clips and you have to correct yourself, redo it, refilm it until you've got that landing pristine. You know what I'm saying? Just 
stability, baby. So I've been trying to get this tie tap bar bar heel thing, All right? Oh, oh, don't kill me. I'm trying to do this thing. I need you guys to smash that like button if you like this trick. All right, scope this. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I could do that to heal. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, let's fucking go. Yeah. It is a pretty fun park. It's got this sweet bowl over here. It's a little janky on that side, I, I will admit. But, uh,. The street section is actually real jibby. Everything's real small, so it's super fun. You can't really get too hurt at this skate park, which is great. That's a bonus for me, because I'm always trying to stay fit and healthy for you guys so that I can keep making videos. Whilst also dealing with my obvious injuries that have been explained to you, but I really like this park and it's got great scenery around it. You can see the freaking ocean and the harbor over there. Yeah, man, it's a good one. A real nice good one. You can come up around here. Ooh, almost fell off the back. Little ledges. Flat rail. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean that up for you guys. This is really bad. This A-frame thing is pretty fun too. Quite like this. Hey, like that little man? Good chat. Oh, that's fun. Backlit? Yes, no? First toss. Oh God. <laughs> Show me how it's done, little man. Get her, get her. Heck yes, pound it. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. There's a kink rail here. I don't know much about this, but. Another ledge to the right. Phew. The artwork around here is sick. I enjoy the vibe of this park very much. Just wish it would dry a little bit easier. I don't know if I want to do it though. You did it, but I'm a bitch. Oh, it's not even that bad. Why am I sacking it? Go on, you do it for me. And then I promise you I'll do it. I'm going to hit the middle and then the thing first and then do the top. Oh my God, so easy. No bueno. Dear street guard. <laughs> Please allow me to hit this kinker rail and not fall on my face, or us. Oh my God. You hit that last little bit and it's like, whoa. Go Karen, go Karen. Ah! <laughs> Give me some scan. Yup. He's gone and bloody done it. <sighs> uh, uh, uh. Yes! Oh my God, he never even hit a king rail before. What a bitch. I'm trying to think of any other kink rail in Christchurch. Like Hittable like they say. This really makes you like appreciate what people can really do on like a kink <laughs> rail. Like we are only doing board slide. Uh, <laughs> like that one was so perfect. Surely. Oh my fuck! I got that, bro. I was like right behind you. <laughs> Come on! Oh my 
Yeah, this rail's mad. <laughs> been a long day here at Littleton. I think it's about almost three o'clock in the afternoon. The park almost dried out entirely. I hope you guys learned something during this video. We had the three tips, foolproof ways to improve your style. Remember the three S's, dress sense, stance, and stability. And those are your three foolproof ways to improving your style in your day-to-day -day riding. It's been your boy Finn SB. It's another video done from me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash like, send it to a friend, and get them to subscribe. Get a scooter and get out there to your local skate park. Clean it up like we do. Shred it. Take care of it. Respect it. And that's it for me. We're done. We out. Bye. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow. Fuck that hurt. So remember the three S's plus the D at the front, but ignore the D. You don't need the D. Dress sense, stability, fuck. What is it? Stance. Stability, style. Dre fuck. <laughs> I can't even remember the three S's, for Christ's sake. Stability, fucking stance. Then stability. Stance, stability. <laughs> comments on the last video that you guys, that comments that I put out. Fuck. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the comments you put on my recent video that was posted on Saturday. I'll put it up in the cards, but you don't really have to watch that right now. You can save that for later. Today, I'm going to show you- Fuck this guy. What are you looking at? Fucking- <laughs>